Archaeologists in Italy have unearthed a sprawling country villa they believe to be the birthplace of Vespasian, the Roman emperor who ordered the beginning of the Colosseum's construction during his reign. The 2,000-year-old ruins were found about 80 miles northeast of Rome near Citta Reale. This year's excavation brought to light rooms of great importance now visible, like those rooms featuring mosaic or opus sectile floors, the latter using marble slabs made of valuable marble coming from all over the Roman Empire. The 150,000-square-foot complex was at the center of an ancient village called Falacrine, Vespasian's hometown. Other archaeologists have expressed skepticism about this discovery, citing the lack of solid evidence that Vespasian lived here. But Corelli says even though there are no inscriptions to attribute it for certain, the villa's location and luxury make it likely it was Vespasian's birthplace. Let's say that we are pretty confident that this is the villa where Vespasian was born, also given the fact that there are no other possible hypotheses. The four-year excavation, which also turned up other ruins, including a necropolis burial ground, was carried out by a group of Italian and British archaeologists. And right in that area of the Lake of Nero, which was for his perfect, uh, private dwelling place, um, Vespasian built the Colosseum, which is the most famous monument in Rome, one of the most famous monuments in the world. Vespasian, who was born in the year 9 AD, brought stability to the Roman Empire following turmoil under the extravagant Emperor Nero and a civil war among his successors. While emperor and using riches plundered from Jerusalem and proceeds from increased taxes, he launched a major public works program and started building the Colosseum, the most ambitious and best preserved of his projects.